Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my favorites. I am very excited. I think it's the color that's making me excited. Um, it is hot as balls though. <laughs> I can't take the heat, you guys know. I feel like when summer comes around, every video is me literally complaining about the heat. I don't know who are all these people that were asking for summer and the heat, but I wasn't part of that committee. Like, I will never be part of that committee. <laughs> I, and I'm wearing a long sleeve today. Out of all days, it is super hot and I'm wearing long sleeve. But, you know, for the look, makeup look, I wanted to match my shirt. I don't know. Very monochromatic. You guys know I used to do this a lot and I miss it. So I'm trying to bring back the colorfulness on the eyes. Um, I need it and I am loving it today. I have my favorites for you guys. I have a few new products. I have a love and hate product. Um... And I still want to share it because, I mean, I love it, but I'll explain it once we get to it. So. Okay, and let's start off with that love-hate product. KVD Beauty Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. Late, late shade, light Sarah 24. Um, I love this product, but... I love it when it's completely set and mesh when it has melted in with all the products that I apply on my skin. Once that happens, then I love that product. The initial application, I hate it. It's like it looks so weird on the skin and no matter if I use a sponge or a brush, it just looks weird until I completely finish my makeup and then it looks good and I like it. <laughs> So I have been really, really enjoying it. Not the initial application again, but the finished product, the finished look of it. I really like it and I have been loving that. Um, it has good coverage. Now I saw a lot of reviews on this. We all did. This was like a super, super viral product. I ended up finding mine at Marshall's TJ Maxx. So I'm glad I waited over the hype and then tried it out. I mean, I like it, but if I would have paid full price and I would have seen like the initial application and not gave it the chance, I probably would have said I don't like it because initially when I first applied it, I was like, ugh, I hate it. Like, no. Then I let it sit on my skin and it started growing on me. I tried it a couple more times and I'm at the point where I love the finished result. I don't like the application. But just to say the reviews that were like the best flying color reviews were people that had porcelain perfect skin. I have texture, I have pores, I have uneven skin. I knew I wasn't going to be one of those persons that was going to like swipe it and I was going to be fall in love with the perfection of it because that's not real for my skin. And it wasn't real for a lot of people with my skin type. Um, so when you guys see those type of videos, those type of reviews, keep in mind your skin type. I feel like we sometimes get so caught up in the virality of the products and like the videos you see where it's so perfect on the influencer's skin that have like perfect porcelain baby butt skin that we forget that like we don't have that same skin. And maybe some of you guys do because there are a lot of beautiful girls that have dry skin and most of them have that perfect like porcelain skin but they have dry skin like girls like us over here on this boat we have super oily skin which means we have very large pores and we have a lot of texture um so I'm glad I gave it the chance I didn't pay full price and I ended up liking it. So that's a big plus. Moving on to concealers. We have this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've told you guys, I just want to keep using it before it goes bad because initially, I mean, it didn't work out the best for me. Um, like the first bottle that I bought, half of it went bad. So I was just like weirded out. But the formula of when I was using it, I am obsessed with. And it's still going good. I told you guys I would update every month this concealer because it's a must. Um, this is month two, I think we're in, and I'm still loving it. I have shade number seven, and it's a really good formula. So I'm hoping that one doesn't go bad. Another concealer that I really liked is a KVD... Uh, 
lightweight full coverage concealer in the shade light 107 i found this at marshall's tj maxx as well i do like it it is a little too light but i have been liking it because i just draw i apply two little dots here and then blend it out and it gives me the most beautiful like highlight look under my eyes but not too stark not too white not too crazy that's why i only do two little dots and i love it I've been loving it. It's really, really nice. I'm very, very happy with it. And yeah. And on the trend on the boat of KVD, KVD Beauty, the gel, liquid gel contour in Fair Cool 90. This has me so shook how good it worked. I saw reviews on this product and they weren't the best. I read reviews on Sephora and stuff. They weren't the best. I'm glad I still gave it a shot and I'm glad that I bought it at a discounted price because it works so good on me personally and I always tell you guys like not every product is going to work out amazing for me not every product that I recommend will work out for you um you can go out and buy it and hate the product just like I can go out and buy a product that you guys want me to try and I can hate it then you go out and buy it and you love it so there's always that chance with every product that it won't work out for everyone because we are individuals and things work out differently for all of us. I personally love this thing so, so much. Like the way it applies on the skin and it's just so seamless, so smooth. I love it's not patchy it's not too thick it's not too much I over applied and I was still able to blend it out and make it look beautiful like it's so good so good I haven't been this excited for a contour in a long time and on the boat of contour Too Faced uh melting bronzing and sculpting stick in the shade chocolate mousse gives me the same finish this KVD Beauty does that's what I'm wearing today and I love that there's no patchiness once you blend it. It's so seamless. Like you can't see like a line or like a mark to where the contour is like starting and where it ends. Like with other contours, I know you can see it. And this one is so seamless, so beautiful on the skin that you can't. And I love that so so much I've been obsessed with these two contours like you guys have no idea especially like they're just so so good and the way they look on the skin obsessed girl obsessed 110 percent okay we have liquid blushes I'm going to start off with the rare beauty blush enjoy I bought a mini one I feel like this is the perfect size of rare beauty blushes because these are gonna last you forever and just buying the small one the color you want I think it's just perfect that they came out with these mini ones so I have been just enjoying this color in general I think June is a month of orangey corally blushes that I've been obsessed with this definitely one of them the formula is one of my favorites and then I have been loving the elf uh, camel liquid blush but the shade peach perfect I know it looks like a simple like everyday or nothing special shade but on the cheeks it looks so beautiful and what I have been loving about this one is that I have been combining it with the rare beauty powder blush and hope and this combo together oh my gosh it's so beautiful these rare beauty blushes guys they're so freaking good they are baked blushes that give a glow like satin glow finish and it's just perfection i like to use it as a topper as well especially with this color i feel like it's just the perfect combination it gives me such a glowy look and i love it the rare beauty blushes so so good i definitely need to pick up more colors because i'm obsessed and this one i already love their blushes this is the color that i'm that i use in the month of june one more blush i have to mention this one because i really do like it nyx buttermelt blush in you know butter it's the color i'm wearing today i have been hooked on this blush and it looks so pretty the glow the shine this is the glow finish they do have matte i want to pick up a matte one but this glow oh, look at it i'm not one to pack on blush and this blush has made me want to pack it on and just it's the look that i've been going for all month i haven't done highlight on the cheeks anymore i just do a glowy blush or i do this as a topper kind of like my highlight but it's just so beautiful and these so so good 
For highlight, I, again, haven't been using highlight on my cheeks, but I have been highlighting my nose. That's like my little extra touch, just the highlight on the nose. And it's always the Rare Beauty Accelerate Highlighter. I'm like obsessed with this highlighter. I cannot get enough of it. I just can't stop using it. I don't know what it is, but I have been enjoying it. Next, we have lip products and I feel like I couldn't do this video without mentioning like a lip oil that I'm obsessed with but also the lip combo that I always do the one that I'm wearing any brown lip liner at this point I have NYX I have um Rimmel I have e.l.f. those are like my speed dial lip liners NYX Rimmel and e.l.f. they're like my absolute favorite I have a brown shade in each of the each brand and then my cool girl liquid lipstick from Too Faced like this is my ride or die liquid lipstick in nude the, I, I haven't found any color that I like more than this one and that is why I continue to use this one anytime I do a look like this or something super smoky and I don't do red lips I'm doing nude and it's usually this one now for reds <laughs> I always recommend these so I have the makeup forever uh, number 402, Always Constantly on Fire. And then Sephora Cream Lip Stain, which are on sale. And they have so many shades, so many shades. But the, so many shades are out of stock because they're only $10 um, on sale. And they have a few colors that I like, though. They have a few nice nude colors and this one. And I think one of these. This is uh, 01. I think it's always red or something like that. It's my absolute favorite red. And then in the month of June, I decided to do very, like, deeper vampy lips. Deeper red vampy lips, like a cherry. And I started using this color, which is gorgeous. Number 97. Oh, perfection. It just makes the lips a little bit darker and grungier, and I love it so, so much. Now, I couldn't not talk about the Jisoo lip, lip oil. Lip oil. <laughs> I am obsessed with my e.l.f. Glow Reviver lip things I carry in my purse and my gym bag everywhere, but I have been obsessed with this. These like this one just makes me feel so bougie it's like so aesthetically cute and it smells delicious literally like a watermelon jolly rancher so good it smells so so good you cannot feel the little sparkles like there's no grittiness it's just juicy oily looking lips and i love it love it love it so much and then i feel like every summer i rave about this lip gloss and it's the patrick top major glow lip shine in the shade she's an influencer or whatever <laughs> it's like the perfect gloss with little different like reflex and i just really like it it's my favorite um i use it all the time it makes your lips look juicy without being like sticky or too too glossy you don't need so much and i think it's a little reflex that it has in it um but it's not gritty and you definitely don't feel them so that's another plus so yeah another favorite <laughs> Now, for eyeshadow palettes, I have two. And I know you guys probably know, Makeup by Mario, Master Matte, The Neutrals, was going to be one of them. And definitely, I just loved this palette. It is a perfect everyday neutral palette. If you have neutral palettes, you don't need this one. It is pricey, so that's why I'm saying if you already have your favorite neutral palette, you can probably skip out on this one. I'm glad I bought it. I do use it uh, daily when I do neutral makeup. It is one of the palettes that I reach for now. I do also have his other palette, and I also love it. It's more warm tones, um, but love both of them. I actually just love his formula. That's the thing. I love the formula of his eyeshadows, his matte shadows, so I bought this one, and I also love it. <laughs> And then, the one that's on my eyes today, ColourPop Year Golden. I already know this is going to be in my yearly favorites. So just letting you guys know, if you see this palette again, it is because I really love it. It is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Specifically these two shades for like the orange super brightness. I love it. It's so, so good so beautiful so pretty all the shimmers Ugh. i am obsessed with this palette like you guys have no idea it is the palette that i've been reaching for and it's just so beautiful i'm so glad some of you found it at tj maxx or marshall's wherever i said i 
purchased it. I've received a few comments on here and my Spanish beauty channel that some of you guys found it and it makes me so happy that you guys scored because I had went to look for the link on ColourPop and I don't see this specific one. They have a bunch of other ones, which I'm getting a little itch to buy a few more of the big ones because they're just so good. And I personally just love ColourPop eyeshadows. They're some of my absolute favorites throughout the years. It has remained one of my favorite eyeshadow brands. And I continue to buy their palettes, clearly, even if it's like not on their website. I found them at Marshall's, TJ Maxx. Um, but I, I still really love them, so I continue to use them. Um, and yeah, this palette is just, it's gold, golden. <laughs> and that's basically it for these favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, for all your support. And like always, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.